Hello everybody. Uh, we have a question here. Uh, the question say, "Si uh, borrow money from the bank at the discount rate of 16.5 uh, per year, he must pay back 30,000 in eight months from now." So you see, they ask this question very tricky. They say, "Yeah, what discount rate?" So you gotta pay attention to this. So discount rate, it has a formula for discount rate, and this is the formula that we're gonna use for discount rate. I wrote down for you. As a formula and the P represent the future value and S represent the future value and P represent the amount the loan uh, received from the bank or borrowed from the bank it could be received or borrowed from the bank see for this count rate that's what we use so we come back here in a question uh, let's write down the data down you know how did I know that because they say discount rate so since the discount rate we have 16.5 so our discount rate is 16.5 Five. So we know what D, I can just simply write here, D equal to 16.5% Okay, let's see the other data They say he must he must pay back uh, 3000 in 8 months from now Now, so that's amount he has to pay back, it's like a future value Now they ask here, uh, the amount the money received from the bank is all oh, So what is the amount received represent? The amount loan is so we're looking for P. So P we don't know. So we can say here P we don't know. But uh, we have an S already. S the future value of that loan, which is going to be thirty thousand. See here, they say look careful here. He must pay the bank thirty thousand. Oh, so we have our P, our S, the amount that it has to pay there the bank so the money has to pay the bank we we have which is s so s equal to one two three um four thousand thirty thousand me four zero uh thirty thousand now let's go so i'm going to plug in a formula uh that we can get the p so i'm going to say okay p i don't know i'm looking for for that the amount that i see from the bank equal to s what is our s we have our s our s equal to thirty thousand one two three four and the one minus okay discount rate equals 16.5 percent so you can write percent or if you don't want to write percent you can say over 100 either the two either you can say over 100 if you want and then you multiply by time what is the time our time because when you say 16.5 it's same as 8 16.5 over 100 you see and then you multiply by our our time what is the time our time here it says eight months how long is what is eight months from now so you have to change eight months to years so you're gonna say eight because time here eight but eight months how many months in total is 12 so you must take eight months divided by the total number of months in a year so we can just simply plug this in the calculator say equal to or if you don't want to write like this you can just simply let me rewrite for the other people maybe say oh how would you write like that you can just simply say if you don't want to write like that you can say one minus and they can write just simply 16 0.5 percent multiply and then you don't have to write this over 100 and then you can say 8 over over 12 and then what you can do now you just plug in a calculator and get your answer so i'm going to take my calculator and then i'll show you how to plug this in the calculator so i can just simply say okay now let's plug in a calculator so say i have my 30,000 over there so say 30,000 one two three four and then i can put my bracket here say one one minus or 16 percent so this one is easy to plug in i believe you can let me show how to plug 16 percent so i'm going to say 16 okay shift and then i can say percent is there shift percent okay and then we multiply by 8 over 8 over 12 so we'll just simply multiply here by uh let me come to the fraction here and then i say 8 8 over to, oh my god my so 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 Come to fraction and then the top one will multiply by 8 and then we over we over 12 okay so i can just say close and then get the answer so the answer is going to be uh i think i made a mistake somewhere excuse me it's 16.5 here okay 16.5 is now 16 so i plug it wrong here so it has to be 16.5 my bad it's my fault okay 16.5 16.5 come on now come on come on get it right 16.5 okay let's get answer so this is gonna be uh 
16.580 over 12. One, I just want to make sure everything perfect. Okay, 30,000, one minus 16, I say 1.6. 16.5, my apologies, guys. Okay. And then get the answer, which is going to be 26,700. Let me plug again from a fresh, okay? So now I'll show you how we can plug this in the calculator, okay? It's just simple. So now I'm going to say, come here, say, okay, um, 30,000, okay? Come bring my calculator closer. 30,000 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and the bracket, and say, well, 1 is 1 minus 16.5. Okay, let me show you how to put in the calculator this percent, shifty percent, okay? And then we multiply by 8 over. 12. So I can just put a simple as a fraction, and I can say 8 over my 12, and they come in closing. This is going to give us 6 to uh, 26, 7, 100. So we're going to get 26, 700. Just simple like that. So this is the amount, see the amount that he received from the bank now. Now let's go to the next question. So if you look careful, in equation one, our option is gonna be option number two. Now let's go to easy. You know why this is way easy? Because this is simple interest rate. It's way easy. So the formula is gonna be just a slight difference with the previous one. Okay. Now let's go. This is part two. I need 10,500 uh, in 10 months. Oh, she need 10,000 in five months. In 10 months to do what? Okay, so she's gonna have to wait. Okay, to buy herself a, uh, a new lens camera. Man, I like like camera a lot, a lot because of nature and you know when I go to the beach and stuff. Okay, the month, uh, two months ago, she deposited nine thousand. Also, that's a deposit in a saving account. So we just know she's only ten thousand five hundred, and then she deposited nine thousand in a saving account, in it, which offers interest rate of eleven. How much money? will part to need to buy her lens 10 months from now so this is simple interest rate you know how did you know that because look at this a simple interest rate so simple interest rate has another formula which is this one here so this is a formula for simple interest rate which we're going to use now okay so p represent principal for now principal is the money that you have invested in any type of business the amount that you use start a business for simple interest this is what the p represent R is interest rate and T is the time. But at this time, must be in years. I've explained here everything. So now we want to see what do we have in a given equation. They give us here, they just say she's going to need 10,500, but the interest rate we have 11.5, and the amount she's going to deposit, which we call a principal, is 9,000. Okay. So we're going to say here principal, 9,000. In time, uh, 10 months, because they say 10 months from now. So 10 divided by 12, because you want to change this to years. So if you want to change month to years, it's divided by 12. So this can be years now, because it's divided by 12. So now let's find if she's going to deposit, so find amount. If she's going to deposit 9,000, so we're going to put principal 9,000. Okay, 1 plus plus our interest what is the interest rate 11.5 interest rate is 11.5 shows me 11.5 percent so we can just plug here so 11.5 percent times how long our time our time is 10 months so I can just simply say 10 over 12 so I'll take my calculator, plug that in the calculator. When you plug in the calculator, it's going to give you this plug. So I'll just take my calculator and show you how, how to plug this. It's easy. So come here, see, uh, 9,000, right? So I'll say 9,000. 1, 2, 3. Okay, in the bracket. Bracket. Okay, and then what we see, 1 plus, 1 plus. 11.5, 11 11.5 shifty percent. Because I say 11.5 percent of the times, fraction, fraction 10 over 
12. So say, or if you don't want to write like like this, just in case if your calculator does not have, you know what you do? Let me show you. Just say 11. Let's do this. Some people don't have this calculator, so just say 11.5, uh, 11.5 11 over 100. And then don't write percent if your calculator does not have a percent which I was showing you before and they just say multiply by 10 over 12 so just say fraction here 10 over 12 come and close and let's say SD so this is going to give us 9862.5 9862.5 9862.5 9862.5 yeah, five. but if you do want to write like that, let me show you quick. I can just simply come, let's say uh, you want to do like the first method I was just showing. Okay, so you could have say 11.5 shifting percent. If you don't want to write over 100, it's going to give the same answer. See? And a 62.5 same answer okay so now we haven't done yet with the question so now let's go back to the question so this is the amount that she's gonna pay or she's gonna if she deposit this amount after 10 months this amount that she's gonna be paying or is gonna accumulate to this amount is gonna get to this amount but that's not the question from the question here they say how much money will Pata still need to buy the lanes in 10 months from now so if you look careful the amount of lanes itself is bigger look even though you're gonna start with 9,000 you get this amount but the lanes here cost how much 10,500 oh so she will need 10,500 okay so we're gonna say she's supposed to have 10,000 uh, lanes cost let's say lanes cost 10,000 and 500 and she only rose this amount of money this amount that she, she after deposit this amount this amount she got but the camera cost this money so now let's go back to the question here what do you want? let's say uh, um, how much money will part you still need to buy the lens in 10 months from now so if this amount she's gonna have see and this amount that is supposed to be so we can just subtract them to know how much he has to pay so we're going to say 10,000 and 500 minus um, 25 so put zero there you see because this one has a point so there is no decimal you can say point zero and they can say uh, two six nine eight and they subtract when you subtract this is going to give us uh, six three seven Five, okay, so this amount that part will need for her, just like how they say here, how much money will part need to buy the lens of the camera, which is the option number three. Easy, thank you, thank you so much, Mr. Hamish. Thank you, and I wish you all the best with your hard work. And just, I just want to say we appreciate you. And uh, we have, I have achieved like 93 percent. Samarani, Samarani, Samarani. This is who am I? I'm not gonna want kids as well. Uh, I live in Devon in KwaZulu Natal, and I was born in Kwasabisa in KwaZulu Natal. Hello, everyone. This is Uketa Nombalo from A Johannesburg, emigrating. I'm studying through in. I would like to thank Mr. Hamish for helping us so, so much. We have actually got 90 to 100% on that. Thank you so much, Mr. Hamish. Thank you so much, Mr. Hamish. Thank you. And 
I wish you all the best with your hard work and just, I just want to say we appreciate you and uh, we have, I have achieved like 93% Samarani, Samarani, Samarani. This is who am I? I'm not gonna want kisses no more. I live in Devon in KwaZulu Natal, and I was born in KwaZulu Natal.